Benuri has toured its exhibitions to 15 different cities across three continents in the last 15 years. We buy paintings, sculpture, video. We bought over 250 works in the last decade. We buy them from auctions, we buy them from Christie's, but we've never exhibited in an auction house before. But we are now, our centenary exhibition, 100 for 100, Benuri, past, present and future, at Christie's in South Kensington. Let's go and have a look. So what have we done and how have we done it? Well, of course, we've gone back to the core principles of a museum, that's its collection. That's what makes the difference. That's why Ben Uri Collection is different from Tate or the National Gallery or the National Portrait Gallery. It's because two thirds of these artists were immigrants to this country. And we know that the immigrant experience is universal. The circumstances may be different, the stakes may, be, may vary, but the actual process of moving and being forced to move from one country, one society to another, that is a universal experience. And two thirds of our artists experienced it. It was a Jewish experience of the 20th century. One of the great challenges of 20th century Britain was to engage in immigrant, growing immigrant communities with our great cultural heritage. Bottom line, they weren't. Reason, because immigrant communities don't see great British historical cultural heritage as their cultural heritage. The challenge is to change that to not yet. So there you had the past in the Jewish community and the future in Greek GBPLC. And that's how Benuri has evolved. We focus on immigrant artists. We focus on the immigrant experience. We focus on the identity, the challenges of new identity, maintaining identity and cultural heritage whilst embracing and engaging with British cultural heritage and British identity. That's the future. That's the reality of 21st century Britain. And that's why Ben Uri has changed and made a seismic shift from being within one community to being representing that community in the broader world. That's Ben Uri of the 21st century. That's our future. And if you want evidence of a changed world, look at these numbers. This is a board that's extracted from the National Statistics Office from censuses from 1901 through to 2011. They show the different size of communities from different countries. London is not just multicultural. In 20 years time, London will have more people, more residents who have been born in a different country than born in London. That requires not just multiculturalism, that wonderfully well-used, overused phrase, it requires social integration. It requires peoples of different character from different countries standing beside each other, living beside each other, and being and respectful to each other's cultural heritage. Art can do that, Ben Uri can do that, because we have that cultural heritage. That's what Ben Uri is about. That's what this exhibition is about. Let's go and see. People think that immigration is a new problem, a new challenge to society. It's not, it's been around for centuries. A hundred years ago, a Russian Jewish artist by the name of Lazar Berson went to Paris with Jacques Lipschitz, came to London in 1914, and inspired and enthused a Jewish community in the heart of a cramped, poor, ghettoized existence in Whitechapel. And from that, in the second year of the First World War, Ben Uri Art Society was created. This section of the exhibition is about integration and identity, and that's exactly what Ben Uri is about 100 years later. So when we talk about identity and integration, what are we actually talking about in the visual arts? This is a great example by Hirschenberg. It's a family it happened to be in Woj in Poland, but it could have been in Whitechapel in London 100 years ago. It could have been in Stoke Newington last week people maintaining their identity, living in a different country. The next painting, which we're hugely proud of, has been given to us a long-term loan by the Guggenheim family. Painting 
It's called The Last Days of Rabbi Ben Ezra. It was Alfred Walmart's great masterpiece from 1905, although painted, started in Krakow in 1903. Benuri are thrilled that on the occasion of our centenary, the Guggenheim family have made this picture to us on long-term loan. Anybody who's planning the future and who does not look to the past as a source of inspiration and understanding is not going to get the right answer. Benuri is forming its future from its past. Its past based on immigrant artists. So let's look at the future and let's see how it's changing the way that Benuri sees its role in London. Dorothy Bohm, Nathan Davir, Yasayasi Asayag, all photographers of great merit. Julie Held, Ra'annan Levy, Vitali Komer, all artists who were born in one country and now live in another. But we've expanded, we've broadened our view to make sure that we are relevant to today's society and tomorrow and the tomorrow after tomorrow so that Benuri in another hundred years is a bigger, stronger, more relevant institution than it is today. How? By absorbing other communities alongside us on our walls and in our space. This is the width and breadth that Benuri brings to London. This is the heritage that Benuri brings to London. Combine this with an education program that is national, not local. Combine it with being a pioneer and leading museum force in well-being, looking at issues of dementia and the elderly. Combine it with our concentration on scholarship, on emigre artists in total. Benuri needs a central London home, a building that can support these programs and impact positively and qualitatively the lives of Londoners and all its visitors. That's what Benuri is about. That's where we need your help. Join us.